Okay, let me apologize for the wind noise at first. Um, if it's too bad, I'll just voice over the video. But you can see this is what we're working with right here. Uh, step number one, my opinion, is to buy yourself some of these aftermarket uh, wheel well liners if your truck didn't come with wheel well liners from the factory because I think that helps a lot with the uh, water and salt spray that might get sprayed up under here and uh, this is from Rough Country uh, Mopar makes their own brand or you can just get the option from the factory but if not that's step number one try to get reduce as much road spray as you can from the wheels to get up in here next we're going to remove these uh, tail lights and for that there's a plastic plug here got to remove this The plastic plug here, here, and then two T25s right here. And uh, whenever you're working with these plastic plugs, it's a good idea to um, go ahead and buy yourself some replacements because these plastic clips are only good for uh, one or two uses. This one actually looks like I could probably use it again, but just get you some replacements uh, anytime you're messing with the plastic plugs, and they're all different, so you just got to find out what you need. So anyway, I'll remove these two plastic plugs and then go after those screws. Okay, I got the plugs out, or the plastic ones, so now Go after these screws. Now we can remove the tail light by pulling it straight back. don't want to hang it by that but it seems to be okay see now you can see inside there and you basically want to get this entire area sprayed with our spray and I'm trying to get the light in there and this is what we're going to use fluid film now you might think this straw will help you spray back there a little further but you're wrong the, the stuff that comes out of the end of the straw is very misty you actually want to remove that to spray back in there without the straw it really gets way back in there and you'll be able to coat the entire inside of this area now I don't think I'll be able to hold the light and spray back there at the same time so i'm gonna have to do it off camera but that's what you're gonna do you're gonna try to coat that hole inside now you see down there you got daylight you can just get on your back and get that whole area and you want to get that whole area right there this whole bottom area and from under here get under here you can spray back into this whole area if you lay on your back wear some safety glasses basically you want to spray the bottoms all the way on the inside of there whatever you can reach to 